Hello. How we doing? Brody, happy Pride Month to you. Thank you. I appreciate it. I do. Um, let's see. Um, we are here. It's a lovely Wednesday evening. We're playing Pokemon Emerald. Um, it is grand. It is great. We have Ron over here. He has fainted. That's okay. Because if you didn't join us last time, we have our beautiful, literally beautiful new friend here, Harry the Melodic. Um, and no Splash still, but we do have Surf. That is such an amazing moveset right there. Splash and Tackle, Surf and Blizzard. <laughs> really uh, extreme there. All right. So let's see. Um, we have a few things we can do. Now that we have Harry on the squad, we can actually kind of go back and clean up um, some trainers that we need to clean up. As a matter of fact, um, last episode we popped over here to pick up the Kelpsy Berries from like the secret area in the northwest corner of Hoenn here. Um, but we also skipped a few trainers. Ah, here's just uh, Dalton singing about his Magnemite. Um, <laughs> Feebass cry, fish noises, melodic cry. Ah, you're not wrong. Um, let's see. So I am going to pop over here to our little secret spot. And we are going to let Harry the Melodic just feast upon some of the trainers we have passed by. I love the battle girl pose. She's just in the air. <laughs> it's amazing. Um, I was I was doing it. I was flying. I was in the air. Um, for any Disney Tarzan fans out there, I am an enormous Disney Tarzan fan. Um, in fact, hmm. Favorite Disney movies. Do we still have Ziggy? Brody, Ziggy has been boxed. I know. It's very sad. I mean, I'll still I'll still bring him out um, every now and then. I do need to figure out someone to teach Strength and Rock Smash to. Um, ah, hello, Mom! Um, oh, yeah, I this back sprite is interesting to me, too. It's like, uh, when you look at it, it's like Harry's got a little halo. Um, ah, uh, just so lovely. Just sweeping these trainers, yeah. Because these are kind of... You can fight these trainers um, the moment you get out of Meteor Falls. Oh, yeah, I can't use Rock Smash because we don't have Ziggy right now. Joke's on me. Um, I am a disappointment for the Ziggy fan club. It's true. I really am. I'm sorry. Um, uh, <laughs> and it's so... The moment you say that, I can't use Rock Smash. Um, so I'll probably... I will definitely have to bring him out... Um, maybe for Victory Road? Because I know in Victory Road in this game you need Rock Smash. Um, <laughs> big, biblically accurate angels were melodics all, around, all along. You're right. Also, that is a really hard sentence to say. Biblically accurate angels were melodics all along. Very hard. Um, let's see. Sorry, I'm not even paying attention to the battle. Um... Hello, if any of you just joining us, welcome. Thank you. Um, we just got our new Melodic here. It's lovely. Um, he is a beautiful, lovely beast. And uh, we're just kind of getting him caught up because we got to the point where, um, you know, we couldn't really train Harry because we had to wait to get the Pokeblock case and get all the right berries to get his beauty up. It's great. Um... <laughs> Um, let's see. Um, yeah, we good. Oh, and we have our two new team members on the screen right here. Melodic and Chimeco. These are the two, uh, curveball picks I made this run. All right, we can always come back for that item later if we want the one that's behind the rock smash wall. Um, that's no big. That's no big deal. Um, so now we can pop over here. 
there's still quite a few trainers along those two routes um, bordering Fortree City um, that we can let uh, Harry get in on here. Holding down the wrong button. Let's see. Oh. Mm. So good. Um. <laughs> Brody, I like Chimeco. I think Chimeco is lovely. Um. Also, the moment you bring it up, I get attacked by a wild lion. Um. But I feel like I feel like Chimeco is an underrated underrated mon. I'm a big fan. Um, I know down here where the Berry Master is. Yes, we have one double battle we can do. As you can see, there's kind of like a little uh, what you call it ledge area that we can't get up from this way. But if we actually go south from Mount Pyre, there's a lot of trainers on that route there that we can get in on if we want. Uh, Oh, let's do it. Oh, wow. Harry was wiping people out with Surf at first. Well, that didn't even do too much to that Dust Tox. Ah, James is trying to work, learn Double Edge. I mean, I'll get rid of Takedown. I don't love Double Edge, but it could come in handy in a pinch. Use Mega Drain on the wrong Pokemon. Um, there we go. Perfect. <laughs> Is the god tell you to bring back Ziggy? <laughs> That's true. Ah, Harry's learning Twister. I did want to get Melodic to level... I wanted to get Feebas to evolve before level 25 so Harry could learn Twister. It's a decent little dragon move. It's not really anything too strong, but it can make your opponent flinch. And it is, excuse me, a good bit of dragon coverage. Um, let's see. So now we're popping in here. And we can go in this grass because we have all of these. Uh, there's, I think, the Mimic Circle was formed by people who like to mimic. Um, a battle starts the instant we meet. Um, but yeah, this is the Mimic Circle. They're all a bunch of, like, bug catchers and bug maniacs. They got, like, Ninjask and Dusthox and, you know, all those bug Pokemon that we've been seeing throughout the run. Mmm. But here in the rain, this is where um, Harry's really going to thrive because we got that rain-boosted surf. Goodbye, Ninjask. See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. Um, I believe there are some hidden items in here as well. Ah, Tropius. Uh, yes, our uh, repel isn't quite working because we're not quite high enough of a level. Yeah, because they go up to 26 in this grass, and Harry is only, unfortunately, at level 25. There we go. We should get to 26 soon enough. At some point, I am going to run out of surfs, unfortunately. I know I, this beautiful eye probably also has Mega Drain, but with that rain, it it is no matter. Let's see a Twister. What does it look like in this game? Uh, I like how it goes like, brrr, like all the stuff hits it. Um, very cool. Another should do the trick. Hmm. Not quite. Just annoying. Just delaying the inevitable, Silcoon. All right. Ooh. I don't care, Miguel. But also, I don't know you, so we'll battle. Oh, wow, that is some not great logic there, dude. But, uh... Oh, let's see. How was my day today? My day was good. Um, my wife was off from work today for Juneteenth. Um, and we just spent some nice time together. Nice blizzard. Um, 
Today we actually spent a lot of time making homemade pasta. Um, oh, that's annoying. Um, which it is definitely like a big process is homemade pasta. Um, but I'm really glad we did it. And she made like a really good like slow simmered braised beef bolognese. Mm. Um, Italian food is really like one of our favorites ever. So we were really excited to do that today. Um, let's see. I'm actually going to put Ron in the front just for now. Um, because we want that repel to actually work in this grass. And there it wears off. <laughs> uh, let's see. I think I have maybe, I think two or three more of these Mimic Circle guys to fight. Uh, and this guy, because we fought someone who had a Wurmple, a Silcoon, and a Beautifly, I'd bet you anything this guy has a wor Wurmple, a Cascoon, and a Dustox. They do that a lot in this game, yes, where there's kind of like the mirror trainers, specifically with Beautifly and Dustox. They really like link those Pokemon a lot. In this game and I mean like we just saw it with that double battle those girls they uh, have a beautiful line of dust talks oh no it's trying to stall my surfs man I think I only have one left after this all right let's just do this because this is for Harry after all there we go we hit both blizzards so far I hope we have good luck later using it um, lovely. You finally caught me. Yeah, it is weird, because sometimes when you're trying to run into these trainers, they like, uh, 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 uh. they like go in the opposite direction. Nice flinch. I think steel is not very effective against... Oh, no, it's fine. Good. Great. Grand. Wonderful. Um, okay, for this, I'm actually going to use Blaine. Uh, cause it looks like Blaine and, well, Blaine, Piccolo, and Ron all need to evolve, but Blaine really needs to evolve, and I'm almost positive, oops, I did not mean to use Beck, uh, that Blaine evolves either at 34 or 35. Um, and if you recall, we fought Winona's very tough Altaria, um, in the sixth gym, and that is what our boy Blaine's gonna evolve into. Do -do 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 -do. <laughs> hey, you uh, <laughs> bro, <laughs> you have a very compelling case <laughs> for Lie Noon. It's true, very compelling case. Oh, that's funny. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll train seven Pokemon instead of just six this run. Oh, I think this Surskit has Swift Swim, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, no, that's bad. Okay, good. <laughs> I was not even paying attention. Oh, that's the only one he's got. Nice. All right, so that's all the all of the mimic circle. So let's pop back over here. Um, I do not remember if we have we have not. I do remember this guy because he has a Breloom. Um, I don't think we've seen Breloom yet. This is actually really cool. This is what um, Shroomish evolves into. Uh, we'll use Blaine because Breloom is a grass fighting type. Um, there's that mock Punch. It's like fighting quick attack, basically. And this fly is gonna be really good against it. We'll definitely kill it in one hit, boom. Love to see it. Lovely. All right, I fought that double battle. Pretty sure. I don't remember if we fought these two yet. Give it a try. Oh, we have. Let's see. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> I skipped like six gens, it's true. Uh, let's see. Ah, yes, it's actually nice that we're... Oh, yeah, here are those berries I planted. That's fine. They're in the rain now, and honestly, we don't even need them <laughs> at this point. But it'll be nice to pick them when they're ready. All right. Um, so now we can start working our way down through this route. I did not mean to go in this house. Oh, but this is what those little tree houses look like. They're super cute. Have the tree right in the middle, of course. Um, let's see. Da -da -da -da. fought you yes we have um there are a couple nice double battles here on this route that we can take advantage of like right there and right there um we'll use blaine try to get that <laughs> beat air girl sounds good i will um let's see i think she's over here Oh, I think this is a, uh, a a battle girl and a ninja. Yeah, this is like the uh, the true fighting trainers here. And again, we have our boy Harry out in the rain, so he is just going to be destroying these folks. Um, let's see what this does. It'll kill Ninkata for sure. It's a ground type. Ah, Metatite hangs on. How about that? All right. That's no big deal. Mind Reader um, is an interesting move just because it will make it so that your next attack definitely hits. Um, Chuck in Generation 2 actually likes to use Mind Reader with his Polyrath. Excuse me. Um, to land dynamic punch. Ah, uh, that's why I got pack. There we go, baby. Lovely. Lovely. Um, I will stay in with these two. Let's make it happen. If I'm not mistaken, there is a trainer right here on this route in Ruby and Sapphire that has a melodic. Um, and now that I say that... Um, I actually remember this trainer. This guy um, likes to use Thunder um, with his Minetric because in the rain, Thunder can never miss. And I'm paralyzed. That's just great. Yeah, I kind of thought that he would attack into Swablu, so I didn't switch out Harry, but I will now. Um... Oh, they both know Thunder! What?! Okay. At least it's pretty weak on a cast form. Dang it, man. That's crazy. I did not know they both knew Thunder. Okay, I'll attack you. Um... Oh, this is actually a really good... Let me use Ron. Um... Oh, yes. Double battles are sick, and you are so right. Um... Ugh, okay, so this is always gonna hit... Oh, boy. Oh, no. Don't confuse me. Don't do it. Okay, good. No! Uh, this is shaping up to be a tough battle. But this is actually a really good example. Here is cast form actually in battle. Um, it changed into this little water droplet form. It becomes a water type. Usually it is normal type, but it becomes a water type in the rain. Um, and it has a special move, Weather Ball, that changes types with the weather as well. Cast form is really cool. Um, but now that it's water type, I'm going to try to use Leaf Blade on it, implying my entire team does not get wiped out by, by this main entry, which Ron certainly is. Um, I know. Well, it's so funny. I think I actually use Cast Form in a playthrough at some point. Um, uh... It, they have gotten the paralysis every single time. That is crazy. Um, I've actually used cast form in a playthrough, 
And it was, it actually turned out to be like a good, like ice type. Um, if you can teach it like hail and blizzard, um, that's a good combo. Um, and it can be useful against one of the elite four members later. Um, hang on, James. Hang on, buddy. Okay, good. Um, but yes, what Brody's talking about in the seventh gym, um, it's actually a double battle, which is super sick. It's really cool. In Emerald specifically, it's really tough. Um, which is why I really want to go through um, this route and... Uh, ba -ba -ba -da. Get levels. <laughs> yeah, I know, I'm crazy. Um, I shouldn't say good. I mean, Cast Form isn't a particularly good Pokemon. Cast Form is one of those Pokemon that you're never gonna, like, competitively battle with it. Um, but you can use it on a playthrough, and it can be fun. It's kind of like how I use Dunsparce in my, um, run of Crystal. It's not a particularly good Pokemon, but if you're just playing through the main story of the game, you can definitely use it if you want. Um, maybe this is the, the woman with the melodic. Let me get Harry out first. Oh no! It looks. Turns out she just has a Sableye in this game. Uh, Sableye is also such a cool Pokemon. It's another one of those one form Mons. Uh, Detect works a lot like Protect. Um, there we go. Not gonna get the double Detect. <laughs> yeah, you're right, I did say that. Um, for a playthrough, he was, like, pretty good as a nice type. I don't want to overstate it. Um, do -do 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 do Ugh, it's probably gonna try to use Detect a million more times. Yep, there it is. Wasting my Surf Power Points. There we go. Ah! The sable eye is making me impatient. There we go, finally. Put up quite the fight. It is actually interesting that this random trainer had a full restore. I guess she is a cool trainer, which is like, you know, the trainer class that's good. Uh, here is a, here is that other trainer I was thinking about the last time we passed through this route. Excuse me. can't really use Surf here, because this Lotad's going to double resist it. There we go. I've, we've yet to miss a Blizzard so far. I know we are going to just get smoked by a brutal miss in the Elite Four at this point. That's just how it goes. Another full restore, man. Maybe two, maybe two Twisters can do it. No, it cannot. There we go. Still, still no misses on Blizzard. Let's hope our luck doesn't strike midnight. Um, we're actually gonna go into Blaine here to take out his couple uh, stronger grass types. And if Blaine evolves at level 34, we should be able to get Altaria at this battle, hopefully. I'm hoping that's the case. That's actually interesting because Swift is a move, much like Aerial Ace, that is supposed to never miss. Um, but since I was in the air, it actually did miss, which is great. Oh, no. <laughs> I know, I'm full of crazy contradictions. Look for a fish for two streams. Box Ziggy said cast form is good. And Chime Echo. I know, I'm off my rocker, man. Da -da -da. Come on, Blaine. Ah, uh, not quite. It must be 35, then. Pretty sure there's a Kecleon here. Ah, uh, I guess it wasn't there. I, th I think somewhere in that little labyrinth. Ah, oh, here, are the here are my clouds! Ah, lovely. Good to see them again. 
pass right through that puddle as well. Mm. Hooray! That makes my heart happy every time. Do, 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 do. I th actually do think we fought our way through these trainers. So now we are pretty close to caught up. We can get into some story stuff here. I know there, there are definitely more trainers we can fight. Like, now that we can surf, you see all those little dark blue lines um, in the water? We can actually go through a lot of those routes now if we want to. Um, but I'll usually save those for the end if we really need some extra levels. Or we might have to start doing it to level up for the 7th gym, because like we talked about, the 7th gym is actually really tough. Alright, so now we can do a little bit of business here in Lilico City. As you can see, we have this Team Aqua Grunt. Don't go near the cave in the cove. Hmm, I wonder what you're talking about. I'm an adult, so you just need to listen to me. Um, I don't have much respect for authority. I'm just popping in to talk to this guy, because I remember he gives you the TM for rest. I don't know if we'll end up using it, um, but it's nice to have. I think Melodic is actually, would actually be a really good, um, candidate to learn rest. And I love how you can pop all the way out here. There's a nice little max repel. Um, let's see, 41, 41, 42, 42, yeah, for the 7th gym. Oh, it was 60 years ago that my husband proposed to me here. The sea remains as beautiful as ever. Oh, and what do you say? Even as we grow old and wrinkled, the sea remains forever young with the vivid brilliance of life. Wow, what a delightful old couple. That is lovely, I love that. Go this game. Um... Let's see. <laughs> uh, and Brody wants me to push him in. Wow, now who's crazy? Um, yes, there's something in one of these rocks. Yes, yeah, got a nice heart scale. If there's a move we ever need to remember, we can. Oh, I never knew there was a Pokeball in this rock. How about that? Oh, I also love this in these games. You kind of have this, like, low, kind of, like, watery shore here that you can walk through and it sprinkles the water on your feet. I love that. Um, so over here, we have this fella and we have this weird blockade and they're all a bunch of whalemer. And this Team Aqua Grunt is trying to train these whalemer so we actually can't get past them um, before we do some story stuff. But <laughs> you're psychotic. There's a difference. Um... So now we can pop into this cave, and it's the Aqua Hideout, as you can see. But this is actually a really funny bit, these two guys. This guy goes, what? Are you a Team Magma grunt? I hear that Team Magma is trying to awaken an awesome Pokemon at their hideout. But where might their hideout be? Um, and then if you talk to the other guy, he goes, what? Are you a Team Magma grunt? I hear that Team Magma is after an awesome Pokemon at Mount Chimney. But what is that Pokemon like? So basically, what they do is they give you both pieces of information that you need, but they tell you it separately, and they, like, incriminate themselves. It's cute. I like it. Um, let's see. So now that we know that, um, let's hop over to Lava Ridge Town. Because that is going to do us real well. Um, let's see. Okay, so now that we're here, <laughs> um, okay, so we're gonna pop down here. I don't have the acro bike. Um, you can actually use the acro bike to hop up the boulders of Jagged Pass, um, because spoiler alert, Jagged Pass is where we need to go. Ooh, let's see if we find the hiker. Nope. Still no hiker. It's all right. So yes, um, Jagged Pass is where we need to where we need to go. I'm just gonna buy a couple more lava cookies because there's some cheap full heals. Um, there we go. Oop. Getting a call. Getting a call from Amy. All right. So now, if we pop down here, remember we got something called the Magma Emblem 
from the old couple at the top of Mount Pyre. Let's see if anything happens. This boulder is shaking in response to the magma emblem. Oh. And there's the secret entrance to the magma hideout. Remember, there was a magma grunt guarding it earlier. Um, this area is actually exclusive to Pokemon Emerald. Um, in Ruby and Sapphire, um, either the Magma or the Aqua Hideout will be where we just were in Lily Cove City, but now there's a new Magma Hideout for Emerald because both teams are in this game, which is awesome. Um, oh, this is actually interesting. We need a Pokemon to know strength. Um, I'll teach it to Ron. I think a few of our Pokemon can learn it. Um, let's see. Yeah, I'll teach it to Ron. Yes. Oh, that's interesting, Brody. Um, I'll get rid of Headbutt. There we go. We lose that flinch chance, but Ron's not that fast anyway, so he's not going to be able to make much use of that. Um, I actually don't remember what the Pokemon are, what level the Pokemon, the wild Pokemon are. Um, in this place, so I'm going to just go ahead and have Grovile in the front. I'm going to save because I have some anxiety, and we're going to work our way through here, kids. Um, so yeah, the Magma Hideout is actually really cool, and it makes way more sense for the Magma Hideout to be here, like, under Mount Chimney. It's like, you know, it's all hot and lava-y. Um, uh, oh, I forgot to put up a repel. That's why I ran into a level 30 tor Torkoal. Um, and so it's really nice that they get this exclusive area in this game. Um, it's not particularly difficult to get through. Um, <laughs> the volcano has the grass. That's funny. Um, let's see. All right. So Team Magma is trying to awaken a really powerful Pokemon. We don't really know much about it. Mm. I actually forgot to put Harry back at the front. But that's okay. Piccolo needs levels too. So they are trying to awaken the cover Pokemon for the game Pokemon Ruby. I won't spoil it if you've never played it before. I know there are some secret items in here. Um, in a lot of these grunts, there are a lot of magma grunts to battle, um, but most of them just have one Pokemon. They're not usually anything super crazy. Um, yeah, like this guy's just got one little nummel, and Harry's just going to wipe it off the face of the earth with a surf, which is just delightful. You'll love to see it. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Ah, and I forgot that I have Melodic up at the front now, so there we go. That's okay. Oh yeah, and they have a slightly different little theme here um, when you run into one of their grunts, which is pretty cool. But I believe the grunt battle theme is the same. Ah, this one's got the stronger Mighty in it. Um, I'm hoping Harry can get a few more levels here, um, because Harry will actually be very useful against the boss of Team Magma, Maxi, who we fought at Mount Chimney earlier in the game, if you recall. He was trying to... <laughs> the land man and the tap water. <laughs> um, uh, he was trying to use the whatchamacallit, the meteorite to do so, to make Mount Chimney erupt. Um, but here he has a different different idea for what he wants from Mount Chimney. And honestly, this game, I really like how in this game, Team Magma and Team Aqua are more of like two warring factions. Um, because in Ruby and Sapphire, you only fight one team. Um, but the other team is still there, and they are present. Um, but it's really nice having both teams have, like, 
objectives that you have to thwart, um, which I like. Let's see. And yes, we're just ripping through these fellas here. Um, let's get James in the action against this Zubat. Oh, my beautiful boy. My beautiful boy, Chimeco. It took so long to find Chimeco. Like, I was shocked. Because, um, again, I've said it a million times <laughs> during the stream. It's only supposed to have a 2% encounter rate, which is really low, but it shouldn't have taken me, like, a full sped-up hour to find it. Um, this little area here actually has some really good items. And here's a double battle. Um, we'll get Harry and Ron going in here. Lovely. Do -do 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 -do. But yeah, I feel like it took too long to find Harry. Not Harry. To find James, the Chimeco. There we go. Oh, you love when you have a great move for a four times weak Pokemon because you just know it's going to be a one shot every time. It makes my it makes my anxious heart very very happy. <laughs> there we go. Let's do this. It is annoying that I have to keep switching for the wild Pokemon, but that's okay. Yeah, so here's a full restore. I know that there's another really interesting item we can find. I think it might be over here, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, we have a new Max Repel as well we can use. We'll use our Iron as well. Um, let's go ahead and use it on... Uh, we'll use it on Harry. Make him more bulky. Ah, uh, yes, there's a couple more items here, and then I think there's, like, a rare candy you can kind of go way out of your way for. Um, <laughs> it's true. Well, I picked James. I don't remember why I picked Harry for that Feebas. I think, I think, someone, on, I think someone on stream named Harry. Um, of course, the worst possible matchup for Grovile. Um, I think someone on stream picked Harry. I picked James... Because in the anime, team, James of Team Rocket has Chimeco, and I just thought that was cute. But it is it is kind of a basic name, you're not wrong. <laughs> oh well is the best name ever. <laughs> yeah. I do also love Piccolo. I think Tech named Piccolo. Um, all right. So now we keep working our way here through the magma hideout. And I think this is the area that I was speaking of. Yes. If you go all the way around town, this is actually the area where we came in. Um, if you go all around this area, there is a nice little rare candy waiting for you at the end. I did not mean to do that. Boom. All right. Ah, that's why I'm stuck off in this corner. I'm always late to roll call. Oh, that's cute. Some of the inner workings of Team Magma. Love to see it. <laughs> and your name's Ziggy and Cloud. I really didn't do that on purpose. I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh, another Blizzard hits. Lovely. Um, perfecto. Um, all right. Oh. I roll. There we go. At least Torkoal's really slow, so we can escape from it really easily. And here's our prize, our rare candy. So we are kind of working our way pretty quick through the Magma Hideout. It's pretty linear. It's not too crazy. You can get lost if you aren't really paying attention, but it's nothing too insane. Um, <laughs> you claim child support over them? Okay. I will, uh, I'll Venmo you. <laughs> Lovely. All right. So we got more 
super repels coming here. I believe we're getting close to the last area of the old magma hideout. What a ba -da -da -ba. I want to make sure I save some of Harry's surfs for the fight with Maxi. Um, and that's kind of like the main thing, one of the main things about this area here. Um, okay. So I actually will conserve Harry a little bit. We'll let Ron get in on the action. I feel like we haven't heard much from Guzzle in a while. I haven't really had to train Guzzle because she just completely dominates every gym she's in. Oh, and here's a PP Max. I actually don't remember a PP Max existing in Gens 1 or 2. Um, they have a PP Up. Um, and I think you can use a PP Up three times on a specific move. Um, but a PP Max will just... All you have to do is use it once, and it will increase your move, your move's power points as much as it can go. So it maxes out your power points, basically. Which is awesome. Um, <laughs> there's a babysitter shoved in a box. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. That's really funny. All right, great. Um... That is a great combo that Mighty Yenna has, because it has the Intimidate ability, which is really good, lowers your attack. Um, but then it can use uh, Swagger with that, and that's really good because Swagger raises your attack but confuses you. But if you've already been hit with an Intimidate, that really kind of like mitigates that attack boost and doesn't make it quite as cumbersome for the Mighty Yenna to deal with, which is pretty neat. Um, that's the way I came. All right. So now we got a few more trainers here. Um, I am excited to kind of um, start doing this. It, it always seems to kind of come up abruptly. But once we get through this magma section, this is really kind of like the beginning of the end game as far as like the story goes of this game. Um, which is awesome. I really enjoy the story in this game. I pretty much enjoy the story in all Pokemon games. A lot of them are pretty simple, but I like them. Um, what's the only story I don't like? Um, I don't really enjoy the story in Ultra Sun and Moon. Um, I love the story in the Money Money, that's right, that nugget. Um, I love the story in the original Sun and Moon. Um, I think those are way over-hated games. I love, I love the original Sun and Moon. Um, but in Ultra Sun and Moon, which are kind of like the sequels, we'll get there eventually, I'm sure. Um, in Ultra Sun and Moon, they kind of change the story in a way that doesn't make a lot of sense to me personally. But, you know, it is what it is. All right, great. So now we have, I think we have a couple double battles. You're not finished yet. You're not getting by me easily. Um, yes, these are two grunts. I think we have one of the admins that shows up in one of these double battles coming up here. There goes that Nummel, of course. Goodbye, Zubat, as well. <laughs> Sun and Moon are interactive movies. Brody, everybody says that. I, I mean... I don't mind cutscenes as much. Um, it is funny. One game I definitely want to play on here, um, at least some of them, because there are a lot of the games. I want to play some of the Kingdom Hearts games, because um, I love those games. And I, ooh, Maxi went to Groudon just seconds ago, so that's who Maxi's trying to wake up. Uh, we'll see Groudon here really soon. Anyway, um... I grew up playing in Kingdom Hearts. Oh yeah, here's that admin I was talking about. And I love, love, love those games. And they have a lot of cutscenes in them. So I'm kind of like, I don't know, I'm kind of used to that. I don't mind a lot of cutscenes here and there. Um, because overall, I think people overstate how many cutscenes are in Sun and Moon. Because a lot of it's just in the beginning. Um, but uh, yeah, I still really like Sun and Moon. I think they're awesome. And I think the... Uh, the story is so sick that I don't care that there's that many cutscenes. 
Unless you were saying you also enjoy that, Brody, in which case I apologize. <laughs> um, let's just see what Ron can do here. I don't really want to swap out. Um, okay, good. Lovely. What else does Tabitha have? We have a Zubat. Um, we'll go into James. Got that psychic type on the Zubat. Love it. Great. Um, camera. So this is uh, Maxi's signature Pokemon. Tabitha also has one. Um, so we can use that Surf to just wipe it out as well, which is great. Um, Ziggy Cloud and Not Water. Oh, what was Not Water? I remember Not Water. What Pokemon was that? I forget. Um, let's see. Do I have a Burn Heal? I might. If I don't, I can just use a lava cookie. Yeah, lava cookie it is. Lovely. Oh yes, Lugia. Yes, yes, that was great. I remember that now. Oh, amazing. Um, I won't use one on Piccolo, that's fine. Um, okay, so now we are getting into uh, the end game here for the Magma Hideout, because we just fought Maxi's right-hand person. And now, as you can see, ooh, there's that dormant gray Pokemon up there in the corner. Um, he's going to start with Mightyena, so I will start with Piccolo. Um, we will save because I have anxiety. All right, so as you can see, Maxi is waiting there with Groudon. And we'll see what he's got to say. Ah, Groudon, nothing could awaken you from your sleep bathed. Excuse me. Nothing could awaken you from your sleep bathed in magma. This blue orb is what you sought, wasn't it? I have brought you the blue orb. Let it shine, awaken you, and show me. Show me the full extent of your power. But then he runs away. Maxie's like, what? I was supposed to control you, but you're gone now? So now Maxie's really mad. That he tried to wake up Groudon, it ran away, and now he's just like, listen, I'm gonna fight you because I'm mean and angry. Ooh, great music here. Hmm. Love it. Uh, let's see. <laughs> His babysitter also shoved him in a box. Uh, yes, it is strange, isn't it? Oh. Brody, the next game we play, I'm going to let you name our starter. <laughs> so we, it will not be box, I promise. Um, let's see. Let's get some Leaf Blades going. As you can see, Maxi's team is a little bit higher than ours level-wise, so we might have a, just a little bit of difficulty here. Um, let's see. Scary Face is going to make me slower, which I hate very much. But that's all right. Um, so basically, Team Magma um, wants to use the power of Groudon to expand the landmass of the region. Uh, because Groudon is like the ground, land, like earth titan of the Pokemon world, essentially. Um, oh boy! That's really annoying. I hate that a lot. I'm sorry, Piccolo. So sorry that happened to you. Uh, but that's okay. You'll, you will be avenged. Our gal Guzzle is just always amazing. I actually don't mind you using a super potion there. Um... But yes, that's what Team Magma is trying to do. And Team Aqua, oh wow. He's just getting camera upped in right now. Well, how about that? Um, <laughs> it's a bad omen. <laughs> I guess so. Oh, that's, there we go. A nice critical hit from my side for a change. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can, ooh, Earthquake. That's, yeah, Curse isn't gonna work. Oh, boy. And now I'm slower. I should have just used Body Slam. 
Um, dang it. Um, that is okay. I use protect. Make you waste a turn. There we go. Um, all right. I'm just gonna let Guzzle get, let get knocked out here. Yeah, we're pretty we're pretty below. Level 39 is tough. Okay, so I'm gonna send out Harry. I'm really hoping Harry is faster. I would think so, because camera up is really slow. If so, I should knock it out with Surf. We'll see. Yes, that's great. Uh, love that, a full 10 levels higher. Good work, Harry. Um, recover, that's wonderful. Absolutely, I will delete tackle for recover. <laughs> Um, excellent. So, uh, so Team Magma's trying to get Groudon. Team Aqua, they're trying to get a legendary Pokemon as well. Pretty sure we'll find that out later. Um, we'll keep Harry in for the Mighty Young, because Surf is going to be pretty good here as well, especially with Intimidate. Um, we're not using our attack here on Harry. We're only using our special attack. Do... Ah, we, I'm actually saving Ice Beam Brody for a super secret reason that we'll find out later. Um, yeah, that's why I wanted to give Harry an ice move, so I taught him Blizzard. Um, but yeah, I'm going to teach Harry, uh, I'm going to teach Ice Beam later, don't worry. And we actually haven't been able to get the TM for it yet. Um, that's on a little side quest we haven't done yet. Um... Okay, so now we have Crobat. Crobat could be pretty tough, but I should have the horses here. Um, ooh, Crobat's so cool. Uh, I should have used Yawn. That would have come in way handy. Ah, that's fine, though. That's actually what I'm going to do this turn. Ooh, unless this does more damage and kills me. Oh, not quite. Yes. All right, so now um, we can get into Ron because Ron is pretty much going to wall Crobat because it can't use any poison moves on it and its flying moves aren't going to be very effective. We're going to be sitting pretty here. Um, <laughs> so happy your baby will be back home. You haven't seen him in like three months. I know. You can use some of that child support money that I'm paying you. Okay, good. I thought that was regularly effective. Um, one more strength should do the trick here. Lovely. A nice hard-fought match against Maxi. It is nice going into these battles a little bit under level. Makes them a little bit more difficult, which, in which I enjoy. Um, what makes you so adept at handling Pokemon? Um... So Maxie's just like, there has to be some reason why Groudon fled. Oh, uh, that's what you're trying to say, aren't you? Ugh, you think I didn't know that. Ah. Uh, so he's gonna go after Groudon. Um, so he doesn't need his mag special magma hideout anymore. Um. <laughs> you'll have your revenge on the evil babysitter. Um, all right. <laughs> I love how they have these drills sitting here, implying that they drilled under the volcano. Um, so now we just hop down that little ledge. Uh, no, we don't want to go there. Um, we need to go all the way back around the bend, because this is actually how we get out. See, these are the strength boulders that we used earlier. And we're out of here. Lovely. Um... So now we are all finished with that. That is amazing. I love to see it. Um, great. So now we might be able to get into a little bit of a little bit more story stuff. Um, uh, we're on a roll here. I think I can. I'll do one more little little bit of story. Um, so now I'm actually going to go back to that. Uh, to where those aqua grunts are because as you can see that guy is still blocking the way um so now that we have taken um 
we have taken out Team Magma at their hideout. I think these guys have another funny little bit. Um, what? What do you want with Team Aqua? Our boss isn't here. He's gone off to jack a submarine. Where did he go? Do you really think I'd tell you something that crucial? And then this one says, what? What do you want with Team Aqua? Our boss isn't here. He's went to Slate Port City. Why did he go? Do you really think I'd tell you something that crucial? Classic comedy. He told us what they were doing. He told us where they were going. They should have conversed beforehand, man. Um, so now we have to go to Slate Port City. Um, I do love that little bit. I didn't, that's what I was expecting them to say when they did the Team Magma thing earlier. Um, <laughs> uh, let's see. So now if we go to Slate Port City, um, if you remember our friend Captain Stern, we actually saved him from Team Aqua earlier in the game at the museum right here. But, oopsie, went into the Pokemon Center. But now he is being interviewed by Gabby and Ty, no less, about his submarine triumph here at the, at the uh, harbor. Yes, indeed, we intend to move ahead with our exploration. That's wonderful, Captain Stern. Thank you for taking the time from your busy schedule to talk to us. So then they all just go away. And he's just like, whew, that was my first time on TV. All right, so... Um, we made a huge discovery on our last seafloor exploration. We found an underwater cavern. I wonder if we're going to go there later. Um, yes, habitat of a Pokemon that is said to have been long extinct. Oh. What is that noise? Where is that coming from? So basically, everyone's like, what's happening? And we realize that that voice from, came from someone with a megaphone from inside. Ah, yes. So we go in here, and Team Aqua has taken the submarine. Um, so they are actually going to go to that underwater cavern on Route 128. We don't have access to that yet, but we will eventually. Ah, and there he talks about their hideout in Lily Cove City, which we have seen. I love how they like hop in the water and get away really quick. <laughs> um, let's see, why would Team Aqua steal my Submarine Explorer 1? They can't be after the slumbering Pokemon at the bottom of the sea, but even if I were to chase them, I don't stand a chance against them. Luckily, one ten-year-old does, Captain Stern. Um, but that's great. Um, so that's probably a good stopping point for us tonight. Um, Next episode, we will get into the Team Aqua Hideout, which I am super excited about. Um, but, folks, thank you for being here with me tonight. This has been absolutely delightful. Um, thank you, Brody, for your endless, just, just deranged humor. I enjoy it. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, I will probably see you all on Saturday. Um, probably with some more Emerald. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you subscribe to the Silver Cave Gaming channel. Um, I really appreciate it. I enjoy just bringing my joy of video games to you. So, um, I will tell you if I see Cloud or Ziggy Brody. No problem. I will. Um, but with that, thanks a lot. See you next time. Peace.